Here is how to send and accept a collaborator invite from Shopify partners and Shopify store. So basically, uh, if you want to send a invitation from Shopify partners to a certain Shopify store that you want to, you know, help work on and um, manage the store with the owner, I will show you exactly how to do that um, and how to send an invite from your side of things and also how to accept it from the store owner's side of things. So welcome everyone and I will show you exactly that right now. So the first thing is going to be on uh, the store owner's side of things because this is going to be basically the... Um, a needed process okay so if you go to um let's say i am the store owner now and this is basically what i will need to do to begin this process uh from the shopify dashboard you will need to go ahead um, and click on settings here on the bottom left and from here you will need to go to users and permissions now remember uh basically giving a collaboration and stuff you will just have a, a person have access to specific things that you choose as the store owner and they will be able to uh, work on just th those things. Now, once they request an invite, they can also request other roles, but you can completely uh, deny it. It's co completely up to you, so don't worry too much about it. Uh, accepting an invite doesn't necessarily mean they have everything, um, like they can just access everything. That is not the case. You only give them what they can access. So whatever you give them permission to, they can access. Okay, so again, if we go to settings, you will need to go to users and permissions here. You click on that. From here, uh, you will need to scroll down. And it's completely different from a staff account. It's not the same thing, okay? It's underneath collaborators here. So here, give external data designers, developers, and marketers access to your Shopify admin. Specific things within your Shopify admin. It's not completely uh, a free-to-play thing, okay? So don't worry about it. Uh, you will give them access to specific things. So by default, uh, it should be this second option here. Only people with a collaborator request code can send a re collaborator request. Now you can keep it this way and you if, if you want to keep it this way you can just you know copy this one right here this code uh, and send it to them to the guy who wants to partner with you basically. So this way you can uh, like decrease the amount of people sending requests to actually you know collab with you. Uh, so if you have a lot of those you can just keep this option on. But if not, you can just keep it. Anyone can send a collaborator request. Uh, you, anyways, like regardless if you keep it this one or the other one, you will need to obviously accept them. It's, it's just a request. So this is the step one. Uh, both of these two works. This, this one, I don't really need a code. So let's just keep it at this. Or actually, let's, let's make it more complicated. Let's say you have a code. So let's just do the, the other one, okay? So what I do is just copy this one right here and send it to the other person who wants to send me the invite, okay? Now, for the time being, we are done for the store owner's side of things. So we just copy this, send it by email or WhatsApp or whatever it may be. And now, you as the Shopify partners, here comes your uh, role or uh, basically uh, what you need to do. So uh, basically, if you just go to stores here, you just click on stores within the Shopify partners uh, dashboard, obviously, you will need to click on stores and then you just go ahead and click add store here. From add store, you will need to click on request access to, uh, sorry, request access to store, this option right here. So you click on that. And then from here, you should find the a store URL and obviously you will need to paste the store URL. So let's just do that real quick. There you go. And if they have this enabled, the only people with the request code can send uh, 
thingy, you will have this message right here. This merchant requires a, a collab code. So you need to enter uh, that. So let's just do it right here. Oh, it was 7374. So I have it like this now. So I have the store URL and also the request code. If not, then you don't really need to enter this. Okay. If they have it as anyone can send, no, you don't really need to enter this and you won't even get this message. Okay. So now uh, you will need to go underneath permissions and here you check the things that you want to work on within this store. So um, you will get to the general tab where you can just work on orders. And if you check this, you will get the options to do many things for the orders, like manage uh, information for orders, uh, edit orders, and those kinds of stuff. Maybe if you want to apply discounts and anything. Uh, now here you can also do... Um, for administration, you've got plenty of options here to choose from. And remember, whatever you choose here doesn't necessarily mean that you will actually get access to because at the end of the day, they have the final say so. So the Shopify store admin or owner will uh, have the final say of what you have access to. But this is just a simple request that you want to request, for example, to access uh, the admin for uh, locations and editing permissions like adding or removing staff so maybe that's what you want maybe return orders you want to be responsible for that uh, and just you know check the things that you want to be responsible for or you want to work on it's very simple or if you want you can just select all and just be crazy for it it's going to be completely up to you but it doesn't really matter it's just going to show them what you want to work on okay and then you just send a message just say hey so uh, here you can just send a message if you want and they will obviously get it so just click request access to store after you're done and this basically um, allows us to send the invitation so the first step is done now we have sent the invitation and it says access pending, obviously, because now the Shopify store owner here will need to obviously accept the invitation or decline. It's going to be up to them and also adjust the permissions. So to do so, you go to um, as the Shopify store owner, you just go to settings and same place again, customer accounts. Um, I'm sorry, users and permissions and go down to collab uh here and you will find the name of the person who requested your uh, uh you know the send uh, the invitation so you just click on them and now you will see the permissions that uh they have requested okay and you can just you know click on those and to see exactly what they want what you can do is uh, just remove all and then you just select uh exactly what you want them to do so let's go to orders maybe i just want them to manage specific things for orders i just want to, uh, want them to manage the returns and refunds and cancellations of orders okay so i just select exactly what i want them to access and what i select is going to be what happens not what they have requested okay again i say this you have the final say so you select whatever you want to select and then here you can just also give them uh, approvals here or permissions I mean and just reject or accept at the end. So if we just accept it has been approved and we should be good to go. Now uh, we should find here that we have uh, our new collaborator here. And if we restart here, it should say instead of access pending, uh, access. So access granted. And this is basically how to accept uh, and request an invitation for collaboration for your Shopify store and exactly everything that you will need to know about it. So I hope you liked this video and uh, thanks for watching.